Hi my amazing planner friends, it's Jess for my magical planner and today I'm going to be planning out the week of October 17th through the 23rd. I have pulled out one of my Halloween kits this week so I have this kit. Um, I don't know if it had a name or if I just maybe took it off. It might have been Hocus Pocus but it was from the Craceful News Papery. I think I bought this about two years ago and this was the foil add-on you could get at the time. And then here's the format of this kit. You have the nine boxes here. The one box I'm not super keen on is this one because it is a hat, but it, I don't know, it doesn't quite look like a hat to me. So I might leave that one off, but I do like the general feel of the other boxes. You have some half boxes down here at the bottom. Then we have more half boxes through here. I'm not a big fan of this one. The bug kind of creeps me out a little bit. <laughs> so if I use that one, I might cover up that. Then I have some quarter boxes and third boxes here. You have your meal planning stickers down here. We have bill dues. You have a kind of list format here as some page flags. Then we have some layering stuff through here, a little bit of deco, some scripts. I love the hat here. I think it's just in the foil, you lose something of it. You have a weekend script, your Monday through Sunday, your days of the week. I'm not going to be using these. I'm going to show you some that I've picked out that I think are going to take it to the next level. You have your habit trackers and page flags. And then, of course, you have this really cool bottom washi element. This is a square box probably meant for the upper corner. You have some to-dos and today scripts here. And it's going to be a lot of fun to kind of play around with and bring it more up to date, I think. So kind of like last week, I hold on. <laughs> kind of like last week, I have pulled out some different stickers that I think are going to coordinate well with this and kind of make it easy to bring in. I thought it was kind of fun to show you what I picked and why I picked it. There will be timestamps below. So if you want to skip over this part, feel free. So like I said, I wasn't going to use the days of the week in this kit, and that's because I want to use my spiderweb days of the week from Simply Watercolors Co. This was a $2 Tuesday that she did, and I just think it's really awesome. The spiderwebs do go up. I kind of wish that they went the other way around, and then I could hang them from the top. That would be my only critique for these, because I think it's a really awesome concept. Besides, though, I have, I have pulled out a little bit of other deco that I thought could fit. Some of it may, some of it may not. So I have like some little bats here through this and a little spider there. These are from the Giving Girl. So I have it in black. And then I also have their bat dangles here, or it says bat fairy lights, sorry, in silver. And then I also have that previous page in silver as well. Then I have a leaf deco page that was a freebie from Sadie stickers from last year that the colors felt like they would go because this pink is pretty close to this pink in the kit. And then I have this floral kind of picked out. I don't have a floral that's really close. So we're going to see if this works or not. I'm not sure. I do have a backup plan though. And then I also have this kind of sparkle melodies is what um, Letters to Apollo called it. And it just has little ghosts and like little Halloween themed things in it and like a sparkle deco type format. So we have that. I'm going to go ahead and set this off to the side a little bit. And then I did pull out some different dividers to kind of add to things as well if I wanted to. So this one is from the Pretty Pink Co. I have a jack-o'-lantern on one side and bats on the other. Then we have these spider webs with bats on them, also from the Pretty Pink Co. These I really liked, and I'm probably going to pull these in. So these are just spider web overlays, and you can use them as dividers, or you can overlay them onto a box, and I think that could be really fun. Then I have spider web dividers, and then these are from this year. So this is the bat flourish dividers which i think are amazing so we have some spider webs ones as well i have brooms from the other year from pretty pink co and then this is just another size of that dainty flourish and i think they're so cool 
Okay, so I have all of those. Then as far as additional boxes, because I don't know that all the boxes in the kit are going to go and work for me, especially with as much stuff as I want to include in this week. So I've pulled out some other things. So I have these from the Pretty Pink Co., which are really cool with their little spider web. Then I have these boxes from Letters to Apollo. I felt like they could definitely go for Halloween. I have just some normal boxes from Capsai Tawi. This is kind of her sampler sheet. This is from Harriet Wright Designs. I've really been loving bringing this sign in, especially on the sidebar, to do my menu planning. So I don't know if I'm going to do that this week, but I wanted an option to do it. Then I have these from Letters to Apollo. Now, I'm not sure that these two are going to work. I have to look at it in a little bit more detail and closer, but I know definitely the black would work. Then I had these from the Pretty Pink Co. And the lighter pink, I think, is pretty close to the pink in the kit. Oh, it's not an exact match, but it's kind of in between these two shades. So I may end up pulling that in or maybe the gray one. I'm not sure yet. And then I pulled out these two Bobox sampler sheets from, um, from the Giving Girl and they're in the color Sea Salt. So I have all of those boxes to work with. And the last things that I picked out, I, I did pull out this trim from the Pretty Pink Co, which has these really cool spider webs on it. And I also pulled out a couple of like planner girls. So I have the little ghosts, which I might use and I have bigger ghosts, which I could use, but I also have these. So this one is kind of a pinkish witch. And I think the colors on her dress more closely match this. I'm not sure if I'm a hundred percent on her, but that's the way I'm leaning as my backup. I do have this one with Maleficent because we do have the crow here and hold on. Unfortunately, I don't have the Sanderson sisters, but we do have a crow on here. And so I thought maybe it could be Diablo. That's the name of her crow. <laughs> Anyhow, and then I did also pick out these because the pink goes with the kit. So it's going to depend on how I feel the kit is going when I make those decisions. These are the options. I have in the forefront of my mind though. And then along with all of that, like I said, I had a backup option for the floral. So what I did is I went through my leftover sticker book and here's what I came up with. So I pulled out a couple of icons obviously here and a few other little odds and ends, but I also pulled out this floral and this floral. Now, neither one of them is going to be a perfect match, right? But the tones in these with especially with the this one and the more grayish kind of tones i think either one of them could work really nicely with this so i'm going to go with that all right i'm going to meet you guys in the voiceover and let's just get into this i'm starting off with those spider webs they are so fun they were a little tricky to put down just because i'm not lining up the straight part against a line instead what i'm doing is i'm lining up actually those kind of middle prongs at the top that like top notch they're not the very middle one but the ones on each side of that with my line to try and give me a guide for a straight line it's not perfect but it was good enough for me at this point and I really like the effect these had I also felt like I didn't need to white out the line behind them because with a spider web having more lines isn't a bad thing so I just kind of left it there and was like, hey, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put down my bottom washi, which I knew I wanted the big washi because it was just so pretty. I did look at maybe putting the other washi at the top, but it didn't look right and it wasn't going to fit really well with the spider webs and I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get a perfectly straight line. So I felt like it was just gonna make the line look worse. I pulled in that spider web trim from Pretty Pink Co. there at the bottom to just kind of edge that out. I thought it was a nice effect and kind of went with the overall spider web theme I was going with. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off that little bit of excess. 
I do pull it up from the bottom with the washi because that just tends to go easier. It takes the other with it opposed to going the uh, from the top down in which case you get two separate pieces and it's just an easier flow to pull it from the other direction. Now I'm going through and I'm adding some of those florals at the top. I was being a little bit conservative here because I didn't have a ton of florals and as I was putting these down I was like yes I want to use these ones and not that unused sheet that I had pulled out to go with these because this just felt more right. So I'm trying to be conservative. The other issue I had is since these are leftovers, I didn't have a lot of variety. And so I was struggling with, are, is this all gonna look the same? And how do I make it look different? And I'm just trying to cut things at different angles to give myself different portions of that flower, especially with the more maroon colored one. I am mixing florals from both of those leftovers because I knew if I stuck with one, I wasn't going to have enough for my entire spread, but I felt like combining the two would allow me to do that. And so I just wanted to make sure I wasn't using just one at the top and then using another one throughout because I felt like that would make it feel more separated. Now we're going to put on the rest of our vase, especially up in that upper right corner. No, left, left corner. Yeah, I knew my right and left, I swear. Okay, no, I don't, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> but anyhow, um, I really wanted some kind of spider web up in that corner. And I also wanted a very unique box to kind of go with the whole theme here. And so I played with the idea of doing this kind of line divider, but decided I wanted something different because I felt like it was too opposite of the days of the week. And when I pulled up that box to reposition it, I did pull off the bow and I went, okay, I, I can work with this. We can make it fine. <laughs> Cause I didn't want to try and line it up perfectly because it wasn't going to look right. So I ended up pulling in the spider web, which was part of the deco from the kit. I pulled in that little ghost guy, which I think he's so adorable. I wish I had gotten more of them. And then I'm just going to go back in and put in some of that sparkle deco along the top. I could have filled out more with that sparkle deco and made it look even better, I think. But at the time I was being a little conservative and just wanted little splashes of it. And I think it went really well and it's just really cute. I'm gonna pull that in in a bunch of places throughout the spread and I, I really like the way it draws everything together. Now I'm just looking for you know, all the boxes I want. Here's my habit tracker. I knew I wanted this girl with the habit tracker because I was going to be marking working out with Megan, which didn't happen this week. We'll get into that in a minute. And then I used the letters from Apollo October script up there at the top. Now I'm going to go through and put in all my boxes, like my decorative boxes. But I, again, knew it was a busy week. And so I've been doing this more recently where I'm not putting, you know, one in each row and I'm Kind of overlaying different things. I wanted to kind of actually overlap this box with the one that I had put up in the upper left corner there, but I knew that was going to take up too much of the Friday space, so I kind of had to space it out a little bit. Now I'm going back through and just kind of finishing up that sidebar. I love the this week script that came with the kit. I think that's perfect. I did pull in this workout script. It is from a shop that I don't really recommend because her cut quality isn't always the best and I have a lot of trouble with that. I've had those stickers for forever and I'm just trying to use them up. But it was a longer script than the box I needed for it. So I went ahead and trimmed that down to make it look better. Now I'm gonna use these Vanilla Paper Co. dinner scripts. These were left over from when I got their subscription. And I just wanted to make this look kind of fun. So I pulled in this oven mitt, which is from White Deer Stationery, but was just a freebie on one of her cards. And so I had it in my leftover sticker book. And then I'm putting down my Monday through Sunday. Because of the way this week was kind of going, I knew that I didn't have a lot of other things I wanted to put down here. So I'm putting a divider. I really like using these brooms as dividers. And I decided to go with the little witch. I think she's adorable. And despite my concerns, I think she goes really well with the spread and everything. So I did that. And then I'm trying to figure out my boxes here and realize I don't have the size boxes that I wanted. So I went ahead and I just trimmed down all of <laughs> all of the meal ones plus the ones at the top because I wasn't paying attention and I just did a line down all of them. 
but doing that allowed me to use more of the boxes from the kit. So I put one at the top. I used one of those little bat swooshes to go through and I'm marking organizing. So I have a friend who's been coming over and helping me do a little bit of organization stuff. She was supposed to come over a few days this week. We only really got Monday in, but we still made some great progress. And then below that, I am, you know, marking some other boxes. I pulled in the gray circle box from the Pretty Pink Co. and that gray box from the kit. I normally wouldn't do two grays together, but because of the difference in shapes, I think it was okay. I did go ahead and overlay some of that garland at the top. I don't know. I don't, I'm not 100% sold on that one. That may have been a bad decision <laughs> because it kind of interfered with the bat that was already there and then I couldn't pull it up. So yeah, we're just living with it. And then I pulled in one of those really cute boxes with the spider web and added another one of those cut down pink boxes at the bottom. Then I decided, you know, the deco I had wasn't really working for some of these boxes. So let's pull in some people icons. So I'm going through my Joya planning book and just pulling out a couple that I knew I wanted to use. I love, love these skating girls. And I've done this before with like the little decorative swooshes is I'll put it down at the bottom of her skate. So it looks like she's that's her skating pattern on the ice. And I really like the way that it kind of drew in the spooky element. <laughs> and I marked her lesson there. Then I had to mark Daniel's trombone lesson here. <laughs> he actually brought home a, a valve trombone to try. And it was hilarious. He's like, yeah, it's not for me, but I'm really glad I tried it. So that was fun. Then I'm pulling in just a box from Letters to Apollo. I'd gotten that in a oops bag or a leftover bag, something like that. And it just cut it down a little. So there was some difference in sizing. The one thing I will say about those type of boxes is you need to check and make sure that your pen's going to work on them. So for this box, like I took just an area on the sticker sheet and just wrote on it to see was my pen going to actually dry on it or are we working with a situation where it's not? So I used my permanent ink pen because of those results. I just added in a little extra deco. I'm marking Ethan's work there. And below that, I do have that shopping bag. That's because <laughs> it was supposed to snow this week, which it did. And Megan didn't have a winter coat. She had outgrown it. So we needed to get her a winter coat Unfortunately, there was a bunch of other things that ended up being added into my day. So I ended up ordering it on Amazon because that was my, you know, if I can't actually get to the stores because our life is so busy, then Amazon is kind of my go-to because I don't know what else to do, right? <laughs> then moving on to Tuesday, the first thing I'm marking there at the top is that Adobe was doing this virtual seminar whatever convention, something like that. It was called Adobe Max and I wanted to watch a bunch of things from it this day. It didn't really happen because I wasn't feeling great and ended up sleeping more than I wanted to. And kind of, I took Megan to her lesson, which is the next thing I'm gonna mark. And then um, got her to school, did my therapy session and essentially went back to bed because I was feeling horrible. I had overdone the day before with helping with the organization and I'm starting to find my limits. I'm not happy with where they are, but I'm finding them. <laughs> so below that top box, I did again use one of those smaller boxes and just kind of trimmed it down just a little bit so that we have some difference in sizing. And then when I pulled in the Giving Girl box, I made sure to line it up along the other side because it is about the same width and I wanted some kind of back and forth there. Then I just pulled in a spider web there to kind of go with it and layered on my Joya Planning Girl for my therapy session. I think that actually turned out really cute. And then I, of course I did use a circular box down there further because I knew I wanted to use that. I just placed it down. Then I'm using just a icon from Crafts by Towie to mark that con. I keep on wanting to call it a concert. It's a conference. <laughs> Anyhow, and I just overlaid it. I like the way that the floral on the sticker kind of peeks out from behind. I'm just using a little bit more of that deco that I had pulled out in the beginning to kind of add a little pizzazz here and there for Megan's lesson. Then I'm going to go ahead and mark that we were supposed to do organizing. So I'm marking that again. 
didn't happen, which is okay. We only planned on doing it Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and I just was not up to it this day, so totally my fault. There was, I think the front was coming in, and so just the combination of everything, and I was exhausted from the day before. And then I have grocery pickup on that day. I don't know if I actually did a pickup or if I actually went in. I might have went in and grabbed stuff. And then Dan had work on Tuesday. I, I did manage to do my Simply Gilded unboxing on that day and get that up for you guys. And then I had Read with Emily, which is, I wish I could do it every night, but we're kind of working on a, every couple of days. I read a chapter with her. We talk about it and we talk about um, creative language, things like, you know, it's raining cats and dogs or, you know, things that aren't, they don't mean exactly what they, they say. Um, on to Wednesday, I did want to do laundry this day. <laughs> that was a great plan, right? It's always a great day when I can get laundry done first thing in the morning. Yeah, no, didn't happen. <laughs> I can't remember what happened this morning, but everything just went off. And then I had organized the kids area. I did get a bunch done on that, actually. Um, I went to Ikea, got the new desktop and got that all together. I organized a bunch. And so the kids area is actually done now. I can insert a before and after. Please don't judge me for the state of the before. The girls are <laughs> um, little tornadoes and I can't always keep up with them. But you can see the before and after here. And then... Megan had her lesson, so I went ahead and marked that at the bottom. For Ethan's work, I decided I wanted to use one of these leftover little silver cars that I had, and I just kind of overlaid it with the floral, had that where I wanted, and then cut it and put it in the box, and then wrote around it. So this is actually done on another day. I, I think you may have noticed that the background looks a little different. So what happened is after I, I was doing this on Thursday, actually. No, Wednesday? Maybe it was Wednesday. Anyhow, and... <laughs> I had put the girls' desk area together and decided that I I wanted them to have desk pads like I have on my desk. So I just took the ones off of my desk and put them on their desk to see if it looked right. And the girls liked them so much that we just left them there. I ordered a new one for me. It's not a big deal because, you know, they're kids. They're going to mess them up. And so I actually feel a little better giving them mine, which were in pretty good condition. And they're easy to clean and just nice. So anyhow... Um, on to Thursday, so Jarrett did come home. He was out of town this week at a um, computer conference. So he came home Thursday morning on a, like a red eye. And Emily had Red Club, which I think I forgot about. <laughs> no, it was Tuesday's Red Club that I forgot about. One day's? One of the days. <laughs> she actually didn't have speech so she could go, and I totally forgot about it. Anyhow. So we had run club. Then I went ahead and put the heart down there because I needed to drop Megan off. She was going up to U of M, which is University of Michigan, for like a peer-on-peer -peer conference about depression, anxiety, and dealing with all of that type of thing and dealing with friends who have issues of that nature and stuff. And she was really excited about it. And I was really excited for her to go and just get that knowledge and add a few new things to her tool belt. So we did that. I did add in a floral. I made sure to move it all the way over to the side because I wanted a different effect. Then I'm using the me time below that because I was going to try and catch up on sleep. And with that, I just, I took the, the script from the kit and I took one of my florals that I'd already cut down in multiple directions and I wanted to still use it. So I still had an edge that had, you know, that cut out edge and I just overlaid the script on top of it and then cut it and then overlaid the pillow so that it kind of hid any rough edges. It still has a straight edge at the bottom, but it matches up with where the script is. So it looks okay. Below that, I do mark Emily's therapy, and then Megan had a lesson. Below that, I do have house tidy because I was trying to get the kids to help me a little bit more. I actually kind of melted down this time, I think it was, <laughs> because I was just like, guys, I need you to help me. I can't do everything, you know, because we're all so busy that I don't have time to pick up after everybody, and they need to kind of pull their own weight. You know, my youngest is 10. She can, you know take care of her clothes, <laughs> little things like that. I think as moms, we all have those days where we're like, seriously, guys, 
anyhow, below that I did put laundry time. We got a couple of loads in and I did take a bath to just kind of reset and relax after all of that because I was so upset. I think it was because I was overtired, to be honest, because I had pushed myself too hard getting the kids area done on top of Jarrett being out of town. And so I was doing all of the parenting, all of the running and like everything. And it's just a lot for one person. I don't know how single moms do it. I honestly don't. So Friday, um, wasn't a whole lot doing here. I did make an oops here, I think because my brain was already partially fried here. So I'm marking Megan's day off, which actually is not Friday. It's Saturday. And I'll realize that in a minute. But I do put down another one of those pink squares and I'm cutting it down just a little bit so that it looks different. That's when I realized, <laughs> hey, it's not on this day. Let's move it over. Luckily, these stickers are very forgiving, along with the paper I use on my Harriet Wright Designs Planner, and it allows me to move things. I did use a swoosh there below where I'm writing Megan's lesson and then marking in planning time. That has actually not happened yet. That's going to happen after I do this plan with me. It would have been great, but I just, I was still so tired. I did realize that I put working on the garage on the wrong day as well, so I moved that over. A couple of Ethan's friends came over and helped us hang a little bit more drywall, so we're almost at the point where we can get a new garage door. Super excited about that. Then I just used a regular box to mark nails. I think it got to like Tuesday or something, and my husband was like, why don't you make an appointment and just like go get your nails done and relax and it's gonna help. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Okay. So I went and got my nails done because that's kind of my, <laughs> my guilty pleasure. And then I went ahead and made this box below it. I wanted to use those kind of header overlay things. And I wanted to make a box, but in my head it worked. But when I laid them next to each other, there was just too much in the middle. It just didn't, I didn't like the shape. So I'm going and kind of cutting the spider web so it looks like a straight line. And I was like, oh, but it's the middle part that's causing the problem. So instead I went and took those two corners and just added those. It does look a little bit like he might have Mickey ears, but we're going with it. To kind of disguise that a little bit more, I brought in the spider and then I'm doing my writing. And I think the combination of all made it work really well. And I'm gonna be able to use that other kind of part of the divider someplace else. And then I just use one of those really cute pumpkin boxes to mark editing, plan with me time. Yeah, didn't happen. <laughs> this week was just all over the place, I swear. And then I marked a bat. I did mark that U of M had a hockey game. Yeah, that was in Sault Ste. Marie. That's how on top of it I was. Not home, <laughs> so we didn't go to that. <laughs> Um, and then I always kind of go back and forth on the weekend because there's so much that kind of fills in, but it's a floating thing. So I, it, it goes from like, what day do we put it on? So I marked chores up there on Sunday and I went ahead and made myself a list there. I put one of those ghosts. I used the one that was watering plants cause that felt like a chore and just marked chores up there so I can make my list. I did that this morning. And then I'm just filling in with a couple of additional boxes here. I did use that spider down there on Saturday night. I love the way that that came out and just lifted up the spider itself to tuck the um, box underneath. And it just, it looks fabulous. And then I'm just using a little bit more of that silver floral that came with the kit to overlay a giving grill box to mark this plan with me. And hopefully it'll get up on... No, it's not going to get up on time. It's 2.38. It's going to be a little late. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, and just finishing stuff up, I Megan had a sleepover that she did Saturday night, so I'm marking going and getting her on Sunday. I'm just pulling in another little bit of floral. I liked actually having it between the two columns and having it be a little bit in both. I added that <laughs> really fun divider that I loved from the beginning of the week, so I'm pulling it in towards the end of the week to kind of balance things out a little bit and make things flow a little better. I did use that little ghost of the pizza for working on the garage because we always buy the guys pizza when we're working on stuff like that. Um, and then just trying to add in a couple more florals to kind of fill out the space. And oh, I loved pulling in that pumpkin. That pumpkin I've had for probably three years in my leftover book. 
And there's where I used that divider just on its side. Sometimes just tipping it on a different direction can make something work so much better. I pulled in the Happy Mail sticker because I did get a few things on Wednesday. So I have re that recorded to go up on Tuesday. I just have to edit it yet. And then just using these couple of finishing touches. I did decide to use that area by the witch. I wasn't sure in the beginning what I wanted to use that for, but I'm going to go ahead and use that for errands. And then I'm pulling in a laptop to mark some editing. And I had a laundry basket that I'd pulled it out of my leftover sticker book. So I put that in as well. And that's pretty much my week. It was super crazy. Nothing went as planned, but it looked pretty. <laughs> and hopefully this week will go a lot better. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me and until next time, I'll see you real soon.